Hello there, this afternoon I want to talk to you about lighting and other, all the different forms of lighting that we can make use of and what I'm going to be zeroing in on in this particular film are these these are known as low energy light bulbs green energy also CFL light bulbs now this is the argument if you have any of these in your home and I did have my strong recommendation to you is to do what I've done, which is to take them all out, handle them with very great care indeed, and then when you've got them all together in a safe place, I invite you to take them to your local tip, which has a special place for recycling fluorescent light bulbs. Because this is what we're dealing with. These fluorescent light bulbs contain high concentrations of mercury. And should one of these break in your home, You've just created yourself a situation whereby you are then going to be living in a toxic environment with up to 20 times the maximum permitted levels of mercury in your environment. Or you've got a bill which could come up to anything around £1,500 to have your home decontaminated from the mercury. Now this sounds serious enough, doesn't it? And I admit to my shame that I have still had these in my home knowing this. And it wasn't until I came across the book, The Perception Deception, where, and you can always look that up on Google and find out about how to get hold of it, where he goes into great detail about just what else these particular light bulbs do. So something else they do is they emit a level of radiation, which is really quite scary. In fact, I'm going to draw your attention now to this little chart. And let's see how well that comes out on the focus. The one on the right hand side is the green light bulb and the one on the left and in the middle are respectively LED light bulbs and a normal light bulb. So what I've discovered in addition is that these light bulbs emit a very high frequency of radiation and this wavelength is too high frequency to be detected by the human ear and seems to have the ability to cause us all sorts of problems, including long-term depression, headaches, insomnia, the list goes on. And orthodox researchers who've studied these light bulbs in depth have concluded that no one should ever have their head too close to them because of the harm that the radiation is going to produce from being in close proximity. So some alternatives, well, there's our good old friend, the incandescent light bulb. Now, a lot of people suggest these are no longer able to be bought. This is still not the case. You, I managed to pick up four of these just today from my local electrical retailer uh, for a pound each. So yes, these do use more electricity than the green light bulbs, but no toxic mercury and no toxic wavelength of vibration. So what a relief. And then this is the one I've just recently got the same day and this is an LED light bulb now from the chart that you saw previously they have an even lower level of uh, vibration than the incandescent light bulb so not only are they very good for the economy for electricity but also even less of a problem so incandescent light bulbs LED light bulbs I thoroughly recommend them and here's another form of LED lighting which is lighting that's available around Christmas time if you look carefully, you have to make sure it's got the word LED on it. So these are what they call a warm white. The ordinary white definitely does feel cold and stark and unfriendly, but the warm white is a very pleasant light to have in your space. And I've had these for some few months now, which has given me the ability to be so confident about them. So I'm going to give you the list of the health problems caused by this particular light bulb. Mild to severe headaches, including migraines, skin irritation, redness of the skin, burning sensations and or itchiness, tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears, earaches, numbness and tingling sensations, neurological impairment, neurodegenerative diseases, sterility, autism, fatigue, weakness, difficulty with sleeping, restlessness, chest pains, heart problems, poor memory and concentration, irritability, feelings of stress and anxiety, depression, mood swings, problems with vision, difficulty breathing, extreme dizziness, nausea, flu-like symptoms, muscle and joint pain, pain and pressure in the eyes. My goodness me, what a list. 
So here's a great moment for me because I've just installed my LED light bulb. I'm just going to switch it on for the first time. And there it is. So it comes up to straight maximum light levels immediately, unlike the horrible so-called green light bulbs. And the light is good. It's definitely not that cold, half blue. It's that warm white again. So very grateful for my LED light bulb. And I wish you all the best in removing those toxic, harmful light bulbs from your home and replacing them either with a green one. Now this in the local electrical shop, not the cheapest place by any manner of means. This is a 10 watt light bulb and it cost me 15 pounds. You can get them cheaper on the internet. I'm sure you can. And this is another form of lighting you can use. This is a halogen light. Now, it's certainly bright enough. The only disadvantage with the halogen lights, as I'm sure most of you know, is they do tend to blow very quickly. Uh, LEDs have a fantastic long lifespan, of course. And so the end of my story on these light bulbs is to pack them up safely, take them to the tip, dispose of them, and never have anything so toxic in my home again.